commitment by you uh, unless the teachers take extra effort uh, we cannot uh, the students cannot do the science fair project and uh, we cannot conduct the science fair so ultimately you the teachers are the great contributor for the great success of the science fair alhamdulillah uh, 13 science fair uh, only it has conducted now 14th science fair we are planning in the month of uh, uh, january end or february first week the announcement will soon come Uh, i would like to touch upon the two points uh, before i hand over to uh, our resource person imran only two points i would like to touch upon number one <clears throat> see uh, in the science fair uh, the schools which are participating no uh, the uh, in a year a few schools come and newly newly participate most of the schools that are participating in our science fair have been participating over a period of time uh, what i appeal to the teachers is let us uh, try to keep up the standard of the science fair uh, how do we de decide what kind of project we have to See, normally, uh, yeah, science fair project should not be done just for the sake of selection in the science fair, for the sake of winning the prize in the science fair. You have to think beyond it. So, uh, it's a beginning. <coughs> uh, we we don't know how to do the science fair project following the scientific methodology. and uh, we were doing the projects at uh, uh, normal quality now the time is come 13 science fair you have participated your students have participated now you have to keep up the standard of the science fair uh how to do a very good project that is a challenge uh, i would like to tell the two points uh, the address of two issues the those who are already uh, participating continuously should do a better project and uh, there are many uh, students many schools they apply for the science fair project but their projects are not selected in our science fair so i would like to address the both in few minutes i will not take much time okay so how to do a very good project Uh, see you visit the websites of the standard science fair that is like uh, irish national science fair and you see the list of the winners they have published the title of the project they give the abstract of the project you go through it so what standard uh, the <coughs> students do to reach at the international national level and then you visit the inter science fair as the nigarakta madam told intel uh, <coughs> science and engineering fair which is regularly conducted in usa visit the website and see the what type of projects are selected so you try to keep up your standard and uh, in order to participate in national science, international science fair one has to participate in this science fair irish national science fair for which for this year the cut off date the last date is the 31st october so what i suggest the students who won project last year they can improvise their project and they can try to apply for this uh, irish science fair once they get selected they can go to the uh, internet they will train irish team will train them and they will they can go to the international science fair to participate in the international science fair inter science fair one has to qualify through irish science fair so you try to do the standard project not that uh, uh, visiting the see it was uh, indicated by dr sultan meeting uh, last session uh, do not just uh, visit for the project area do not just visit the science fair websites 
go to the primary source and go to the journals science journals and say read the articles at least the title of the article you read you will get very good idea this is the one point i would like to mention another is uh, one set of uh, 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 one issue is uh, we get the many entries say 500 entries and uh, uh, only 150 projects we are able to select why the projects are not selected so that is an another issue so the people are not able to enter into our science plan so there are the two ends are there see why we uh, not a, why the committee doesn't uh, select why do they reject the reason being they have to follow the scientific method what is scientific method see already two session we have conducted both the session particular the session by the samin raja we will provide you the recording you repeatedly see once or twice see and learn what is scientific method. Do follow. See, your idea must be new. Uh, not that uh, already whatever been done, you are uh, repeating the same is of no use and very important in the experimental part. Unless you design the experiment, understanding the variables. What is the... <coughs> what is the definite variable what is the indefinite variable what is the control and without understanding that if you cannot carry out the experiment so do the experiment collect the data and do replication and you have to replicate the experiment and you have to see uh, it is uh, uh, working properly you need to replicate there must be sufficient sampling uh, i can cite many examples uh, the people claim that uh, some uh, plant extract uh, uh, is uh, giving, having the, some medicinal value. Just as they test with the five people and uh, come to a conclusion, no, it is sampling size is very low. So you have to have the uh, good sample size is good and also the all the variety you have to uh, have it. And uh, while doing the biological project, you need to compare with the control. Even I saw the, uh, some uh, uh, projects which won the prize also, they did not have the control. So they have to compare with the control. All these were well, very well explained by the Samim Raja. They try to do it in a proper manner. As well, uh, it should not be the study of uh, verifying the fact which is already established. Say one will do the experiment and that the pH affect the plant growth already established. So no, no is in doing that. And already uh, whatever the experiment that is given in the textbook, if you are doing the same, that is also of no use. So inshallah, you try to do uh, uh, you do the lot of uh, uh, literature work and uh, learn thoroughly about what you want to do and uh, inshallah come out with a very good project get it selected in our science fair and also try to enter into the international science fair with this I conclude my talk uh, uh, over to Nivar Kandar Jazakallah Khair Asalaamu Alaikum uh. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nasa Saab. It was a wonderful uh, explanation and a very good motivation. And uh, I hope that uh, the college students also enter. Uh, Imran, sir, you will take care of that, I think. <laughs> because the yeah, Intel Science Fair, yeah, junior, yeah. The junior college and the seniors, they only go. And there are 17 categories, I think. And uh, plenty of prizes. I think we should uh, share with the children the prize giving ceremonies and if it it is possible uh, we can also share the science fair the movie um, so that will uh, really motivate the children um, yeah and uh, over to you imran sir uh, sir uh, one, uh, assalamu uh, sir uh, <coughs> we have to end the session by 6 5 before my okay sir Yes, sir. Uh, Nasser, sir, you said something? 
Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, we have to actually clear. before Madhuri we have to end this. Uh, over to this ba Fatima, please. This ba Fatima, please uh, mute yourself. This ba madam. Ms. Ma, madam, please mute yourself. Can we mute her? Uh, mute her? Uh, Fazal, can you mute her? Yes, sir. Now, uh, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to speak uh, a few words about, <coughs> few ideas about this. Thanks. Uh, I'd like to have screen sharing uh, because I'm sitting on two uh, Zoom sessions. Uh, can you please enable the screen sharing? I have to share a few slides there. Hello. Sir, you are co-host. You can share, sir. Oh. Sir, a host has disabled participant screen sharing. Sir, you are co-host. No, you can... Sure. I don't know where it is. Mm, puzzle? Puzzle? Sir, yes, sir, please, sir. Uh, sir, go stuck in Kimia or Sharpan Mudimia. Sir, he can share, sir. No, sir, there are, I think there are two ideas there. So one I am sitting at the camera and the other one I am having some resources on. Okay, okay, sir. Can you tell me another ID, please? Uh, the same name, name, sir. Imran. Same name is there. Uh, Imran Pradhanakar is there. Sir, you know Imran P K Nirkada, sir. Ama sir, okay. Uh, Fazal, uh, you know Imran P K Nirkada, sir. Oh, yeah, it is. Thank you. I'm looking down. Oh, can you see the screen, sir? Yes, yes. Okay. Sir, uh, thank you very much. Here, uh, within a few uh, sessions, and within a few minutes, I have to explain why the research is uh, becoming very difficult and uh, how we can overcome this thing. So basically, uh, you can see that uh, the theoretical, I mean, you have the research can be classified into two types or even three types. I think the screen is not here. So here it is, the theoretical research uh, is referred to as the pure basic research and is uh, focusing on generating knowledge regardless of its uh, practical application. So I'd like to concentrate on the data there. So the data, you know, is what uh, we need to collect. And uh, coming down, I can just uh, explain it, take, take up this also. So here it is. Uh, there is uh, this thing that I want to mention. So we, as in the previous sessions are told that we have a repetition of experiments and uh, uh, therefore most teachers I have come across are finding difficulty in uh, suggesting ideas and experiments. So I just go for this uh, uh, qualitative research in which we have got, uh, uh, we can initiate initiate uh, some uh, experiments that can fetch you more data that that uh, I can call it in rough terms as uh, some statistical experiments. So statistical is a collection of data and also in science we just call it as the empirical ones. Empirical. So what happens is uh, uh, already there are so many uh, ideas there that it becomes difficult to become, I mean, to have novel ideas. So what I suggest here is, you know, instead of going for the novel ideas, we can do two types of research. One is 
uh, which is accepted uh, it's called as the globalized one so this one is having uh, i think the word itself says it's a global one and uh, and uh, it should be repeated everywhere i mean the credibility of the research is such that in whichever corner of the globe you do it it should uh, have, carry the same result the second one is the localized research in the localized research uh, what happens is we can take up a particular area for example uh, i often suggested that uh, a few kilometers from our town we have uh, a mountain called as the rasi malai okay rasi malai is rasi hills are probably so this uh, you know i was not aware that this mountain uh, was a heap of uh, some volcano volcanic ash that was some thousands of years ago in that particular area so we have certain the department of uh, atomic energy uh, the indian government they secretly were conducting so many experiments there so they visited our college and uh, asked me to ask the science some of the science teachers here to consider taking up certain research so i had no idea what to do with uh, this uh, atomic energy department later found that they were accepting the research that can be done on soils and vegetables so i think you don't have anything to discover with soil or vegetables what they what i suggested to them was that we take up a few vegetables we take up few vegetables and uh, take up certain epicenter a particular center so this this area is there uh called, called yeah, let it let it be rasi malai area is there i just uh, drew the radius around it so the radius will run on to 1 km and then 2 km and then as much as i can i just uh, uh, suggested the students to collect the soil from these places so if we collected soil from these places the epicenter of this volcanic gas is at the center of this uh, so as you move 1 km the radiation level fell and as we move to next km the radiation level in every direction i asked a few students to collect the samples the soil sample and that means for example if you have 1 km radius the soil if you choose about 5 km you can get uh, five parameters okay five parameters is a very good thing so or even you can just 1 uh, km is a very good uh, distance so just you can have it for 0.5 km means you can have about 10 parameters so in this 10 parameters we suggested to look for certain vegetables which are not growing there like for example they chose the uh, brinjal so after choosing brinjal you know they collected samples from that and they started growing brinjal from this so they found that as they move away from this particular place after a radius of about 10 km uh, they were able to see that uh, the plant was growing at a very good rate the rate at which uh, these plants grow can be calculated by many apps which i am going to suggest there are so many apps in the mobile and google play store so few of them i am just going to show in the end there we can start to find out the rate by rate i think uh, rate is also uh, every good factor that can give you more than 10 parameters for example uh, how many what is the height of the in centimeters of the plant growth per day or what is the height of a particular uh, uh, fruit or for a fruit that is grows there in a particular so you can have as many parameters in that then there was another suggestion that i did that the soil that i took was from the surface okay so i asked a few students to dig up to 5 feet you know if possible to collect the sample of soil so if they had the soil at every feet then they had five more parameters so everything was uh, parameterized and they found that you know there was uh, as they move away from that particular center area uh, they could find the growth of brinjals as well as the some 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 used cauliflowers also and they found that it was the growth was very well marked as they move away from it. that means it was suggesting that the mountain is a volcanic ash and has been there without anybody's knowledge for a long time this uh, research you know does not any, have anything novel vegetables are common and the soil is also common 
but the place is very specific. It's a Rasamalai and it's near Vanimbadi. And uh, you can even ask the students to note down the latitudes and the longitudes. That is, for example, if you note my place, it is 78 and 12 degrees on, on the globe. And by taking up certain science in certain units, the students, you can infuse the enthusiasm in the students. This way, I found that students who are not at all interested in taking up a small research, they I can infuse some kind of interest in them. And later, they just developed into more, more, more advanced research. By, and they start with this happened to be a, be a launch pad for them. So, and this is this idea I got it from. Uh, I think I don't mean to demean the research that the people of commerce that they take, you know, they study the job satisfaction of the primary school teachers in the value district for the engineering colleges, and then job satisfaction of the uh, secondary school teachers in that period. So, when everything is exhausted, they move on to the second districts, and people are, I mean, the university is also awarding a doctorate degree in that. So when they can do that kind of thing, uh, the specificity of particular place, the specificity of particular place, okay, it, it varies from one place to another place. So what the, what, are, what kind of water you find in China will never be the, the analysis may be the same, but uh, how people are interacting with that and what is the result of that will be different thing. So this can be a, a good starter for that. And then the this is a qualitative research, and you have so many statistical statistics. You can have a lot of parameters, and like that, hold there are a lot of controls. Maybe there you can have several things. And five more parameters you can include. The parameters can be like, for example, you can place the soil in open space, you can place it in shed, you can place it in the terrace, and you can have five more parameters. So you can even increase the size. I think these things are quite well take, taken by. Uh, uh, Dr. Nazar and in previous classes, uh, and he's explained how you can get these uh, control index. And the next thing is the, the experimental research, and you know, it's about designing and replicating a phenomena whose variables are manipulated under strictly controlled conditions in order to identify or discover its effect on another independent variable or object. So I think it's very clearly written. Right? The phenomena can be studied as a <coughs> study and control group. So for example, at the <clears throat> effect of a new pharmaceutical drug, you know, on human subjects, it varies. So as we are in, as we have just now tested what the variants of the virus means, you know, how in the same way the drugs can be tested. Not much they can test on, which they are biological students, they can test on a few cc of blood from different persons and affect the, and measure the parameters that are, uh, there on, for example, the uh, using certain physical sensors that are available in the market. Now, so for example, oximeter, and everyone came to know about this, how oximeter is happening. So this is a kind of experiment that is again specific, but is an experimental one. And uh, the non-experimental one is uh, something purely mathematical. I don't want to go into this because uh, when you talk about uh, mathematics and uh, uh, some parameters that are in the beginning, from the beginning, it becomes very difficult. For example, the study of certain chemical substance in particular population group, it takes up uh, a lot of efforts and that is for the college students that you can take up. So in the qualitative research, we can initiate and then come back to the, uh, what should I say, a research which has got uh, creativity or something like you have the discovery. So, or something which is novel. Now this is also accepted. And then finally, in between these two, when, when I talk about the statistical method or something which is creative method, we have got something called as the applied research. Any anything that you take, and you, hey, you have heard about something new, you want to apply it on any subject particular. But again, this can be on a localized, localized order. Suppose if a student wants to test it on a particular, in a particular town, even if it is reported in some other countries, you know, it is accepted as a research. So it may not be very, having a very good impact, but uh, I find that the students, when you tell them, they come up with some or other ideas that actually 
that actually works so after this you know i just will now go on to some of the simple things that are there the that i found very much in the universe so here it is i'm just taking up the links see if what people have done some students are taking up the research there uh see for example this here is a link there after clicking here is a very simple method how to turn salt water into fresh water and nowadays why even while we have uh, the latest technological things but certain things at uh, some places you know how to turn salt water into fresh water a simple improvisation where cost effectivity should work you know it it is has been very helpful so they have done very good work there and here the parameters can be changed you know very well that uh, if we take up certain uh, preparation the result that you get in pilot project is completely different from the one that you get on a larger scale so industrially it becomes very difficult whatever you demonstrate uh, using the smaller level is completely different so industrial physics and industrial chemistry is completely different from the uh, lab grown thing so a small experiment they have done it and again they in the next part you know they you bit have heard of this tesla coil there so it produces high water this is a kind of physics experiment and uh, so here is mention about the tesla coil they that experiment they did was a light bulb held near a tesla coil you know it is a kind of induction a induction you know uh, this is a very simple coil you can ask the student to measure but what is happening is here the coil is being given the uh, current and the current passes on from this to this particular place that is the bulb that is here so it's a, a simple experiment so a student can come up with some uh, some idea or he can come up with some uh, uh, increased he can say that the number of coils that you have here you can have the number of coils you keep it as a variable and test how much how much it is getting transferred when you have Uh, different coils or you have to spend some more time and get aluminum coil and copper coil and just change the elements or take up the alloys and see if uh, this transfer of current is taking place so this is a another very simple physics experiment that i found is very useful and then see so this one is about the soil uh, and applied stress usually an attack on such soil can make the ground literally behave like a liquid so usually in geology these people call it as the rheology in which is say there is nothing that uh, can be uh, very solid the, the the thing is that under certain pressure they have got uh, the uh, so i mean the molecules more close right it makes very difficult so people can just uh, stay i mean the people can just take up different soil soil biology is a very much uh, uh, very much needed chemistry and soil biology soil chemistry everything is very much needed nowadays they can test the soil for physical stress and applied stress and you know, climatic stress and whether it is want to see it in terms of uh, uh, some different places in a particular district that also can generate a particular data the good thing about this is that you know it it, it can give you an idea about uh, the students can take up and about the soil microorganisms and so many other things so here is another work that i have sent this is a very very simple work there uh, i think it here it is so it's taking some time i'm just go uh here it is Ion fillings in silicon oil suspension visualize the invisible the magnetic fillings around the horseshoe magnet. So I am just telling the basic experiment. So you have to that is uh, you can oh here it is. Okay. This is a simple experiment. They they have taken a different uh, parameters. So here you can see there are five different shapes there. line parabola circle cycloid and the 60 degree polynomial so using this you know you can see that uh, this one the center one you know, which is which is just greater than the same circle 
cycloid is uh, having some objects reaching there faster. They can set up a few things like that and uh, the mass of the balls can be changed from two grams to three grams or four grams and even the constituent or composition of these things can also be changed and uh, the experiment. So you can get uh, a lot of data from that and finally you can come to a conclusion. So this one is a, is a very good uh, uh, experiment and can be used at the, in the, the civil, civil engineering application also. So that's it. And uh, in the next report, I think, I think this video is not there. I can just skip there. Oh, some magnetic uh, experiments can also be taken up. So here you can see that uh, these things are available very easily. What is it? These iron fillings and silicon oil is available and it's available in Amazon. You can see that uh, you can just uh, uh, alignment, you know, a student should get an idea of the mind. This uh, set of experiments can be repeated with the different compositions and different concentrations. When you have different concentrations, then the pattern will be very different. And even this can be done at uh, different places if you, if the boys are, uh, the girl is able to understand the influence of magnetic on the surface or at a different place. Nowadays, we have got a very strange phenomenon uh, <clears throat> that the earth pole, the north and south pole of the earth is slowly flipping. It's been there, north pole will become south pole and south will become north pole. And it's been there over a period of, uh, the flip is uh, supposed to be uh, or 7,000 years, one flip for 7,000 years, but now it is taking place. So it is affecting so many communication systems. So a student can be asked to see how this uh, magnetic lens of force can be visualized to all different uh, objects. Nowadays, we have radiations everywhere. And uh, this kind of uh, testing can also be very helpful. And also, the this is a very, very simple experiment. To say the GOM is a uh, place, you know, where there was a, uh, some birds they wanted to save. The birds were taken up by, eaten by the uh, snakes. So they had this experiment in which you can see very well how the snake is climbing. You know, despite uh, putting the very polished surface, the snake is able to climb. Uh, so they just changed this. Uh, they, it was very hard. Even even a very good polished surface. The snake was able to adapt to its environment and then uh, rise to the top. And here they had the X there. And this is a kind of uh, uh, mobility search of some animals. Nowadays, you know, I suggest that, you know, the navigator, and uh, this uh, navigation system is available everywhere. They can just put this uh, uh, navigation system in a bird's neck or the, or the animal's neck. And just to can keep a track of that, where it goes per day, where it goes per month, and where it goes in several days. This will help uh, both the geologists as well as the animal lovers now to, 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 to get up, gather certain data. And that will be a kind of uh, localized research. Again, this work has been published, and it just, I found it in a particular paper. You can see that uh, they devised the most polished surface, but still the snake was able to decline. And that was the ability, they just tell that the ability of uh, animals to animals to, to adapt to whatever challenges that is laying ahead of it. So that was it. So the, here is another thing that is connected with uh, the uh, very good data. 70% of the world's food is generated from only 12 plants. I know we, we see so many plants there, but we are, it's the most unaccountable. But this is very good data that uh, uh, only 12 plants are contributing to that. So that table is uh, just fine. Here it is. You can see that uh, these, are the, these are the graphs that are there. So a student may be asked to uh, go to a particular place, particular village and see what they grow and uh, how, much, uh, how much they consume and uh, what is the most uh, repeated uh, thing. And then this is a conclusion that was not immediately obtained. They had about uh, at the six years of research to tell a very simple line. 
but what we usually do is we just ignore it he spent a lot of his time in 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 doing the research and other. so a research you know it uh, to my mind it occurs that it should not be some within the time based so it has to be installed in a kind of passion among the students they have to do it every now and then and just to keep record of the data there so here is another one with uh, the hidden distributes more quickly in this arrays is a very simple demonstration this uh, helps the uh, helps students to devise the uh, the wheels in our desk now we are having so many applications in the wheels so here is uh, this particular thing so we can i'll send you the link where you can see later watch it how it goes the wheel rotates and here he is demonstrating how which wheel is going there faster one is a, a ring and the other one is a disc the ring has got a very less surface area the disc has got more surface area therefore we are to think that the disc you know can put more weight but at the same time it is also putting some frictions there so look at what is happening there because of the mass the disc rotates faster than the ring itself so this is a kind of simple can change the parameters and if they had a some any specific problem this particular angle can be changed you is having 1 2 3 4 5 books you just keep changing the number of books there find out the parameter there and do some formula do it is asked of course uh, uh, an accepted one so here is another one that i found very recently a very simple work and this work was published a polyglue one gram can create two Five liters of the water is a kind of coagulant made from fermented soya beans to purify water. And here it is. I think uh, let's take up this. Here it is. See the experiment there. Polyglue is a coagulant. It works uh, on some water. They have just uh, taken up this and then they shake up a towel, and you can see that the water is uh, settling down there. It's here. Making even a clean, dry, uh, drinkable water using just filter it and have it. So this was a kind of thing I noted that this, the UNESCO gave the award to the local students there. I, they made from fermented soya beans. They can take up uh, different soya beans and try it and, uh, and see what is the result into into that. And almost every time they get the data, the data can be very useful. and this is the this is the future your self filling materials are artificially or synthetically created substances uh, that have the ability to build automatically by damage genesis without any external diagnosis and we cannot grow this but uh, i think i can a simple self filling material there are several materials the student can simply take up uh, and go to the amazon site they are available there and simply you can test it and uh, there are some some apps in the play store that can measure the tensile strength of those particular things and you can just predict and give a data out that again it's a statistical data uh, if you look through the open top of your shampoo bottle you can happen to see bubbles and crystals in structure like this one uh, here it is and what can be modeled by they are given a particular name called as the very fill in structure so this is a very simple observation but he made it uh, uh he made certain certain data and put some formulation in it and therefore he got that particular name this is it here it is so under certain set of conditions you know the shampoo bottles you know can have the top with some random structures and these structures uh, these structures you know they represent the uh, pureness of that particular compound if there is an adulteration of which there is a mixing you can ask the students to test them in the in the in the lab so you have to spend something and then have a variety of uh, shampoos and see if they are able to give you a structure like this the name itself is given as uh, the uh, urefel and structure It is a fun way to teach kids place value along. 
Yes, uh, stereocops they have been taken. I don't, I don't know this. Uh, how it has come down, but uh, it's a mathematical. Many students need uh, some mathematical. So there are so many uh, logical things. If you just send the link and see, if you yourselves after seeing this will get an idea what can be done in the next part of that. Okay, so here uh, some more up there. I think they don't have any time. Adding some salt to anion and body. You can split water into hydrogen and oxygen. It's a very challenging thing. It's called electrolysis since uh, water gets the hydrogen and the oxygen. You also visualize what electrodes they lose. Yeah. Yeah. So some very good videos are there. Extra salt is added. I think you can have several salt. There are small experiments there. And go through that. And here, this salt, you know, they are taking the stopper. You can have different salts, the salts are available. If you watch this video, how to grow copper crystals with electricity, and the chemistry is explained. And another link gives you the details of this simple electrolysis process. This apparatus is available in, in, in at many places. So it's a Hoffman electrolysis apparatus. And you can ask the student to change the liquid, change the concentration and get the parameters. So a lot of uh, things can be obtained from these electrostatistics, magnetostatistics, electrodynamics, and electrical networks. And these can nowadays be uh, measured using this particular thing. Over here, this physics toolbox sensor suit is there in Google Play Store. If you go there, I can just download it. If you should have a very good camera and a very good sensor there, it's able to calculate so many parameters like this one, these things, and uh, even acoustics, the sound meter, sound intensity, and uh, all those things there. So light and magnetism. So magnetism is there. So again, you can change the parameters. You have parameter, ruler, GPS, and uh, everything you know, a very good flagship mobile phone can do, provided you have this app. And don't just download it there and take up all these words. Just keep on the keep on changing the solution uh, and find out uh, uh, which solution you know is is required by you? What type of solution you can find? Come to a particular conclusion using this. Okay. Then you have uh, it's a very common phenomenon. Thirty years ago, you had fifteen to seventeen minutes to escape your house fair. Nowadays, you have only three to five minutes due to more plastic and petroleum-based products in the in the house. So it's quite similar to what we have seen in many places that if you paint, uh, if you paint your house with uh, some dark colors, you're going to see a lot of heat there. I think uh, this variant is not working. Then I just go to the other one. It's video by Pet Petter Lowe's. So here it is. You know what is happening? This is a comparison. They have taken this video. Uh, this is an old house, a natural room there. Now this one is a synthetic room. It just gives you the student can build uh, some uh, models and then find out uh, what is the amount of heat generated, what is the amount of light generated, and how it can be. So here it is, the fire is catching it. You can see that the natural old house, you know, the fire is burning very slowly and it is burns very, uh, very easy. So it's kind of relatively uh, set of segments. There is nothing new in this, but it just uh, can increase the curiosity in the students. and. This one is uh, a kind of applied research. So I think I should wind up because very time is uh, not there. Uh, okay, I just uh, I have some more to show, but uh, no time there. Uh, yes, so you can just go to this Google Play Store, take down this physics lab. So it also has got so many experiments like uh, circuit components and Today's world is full of sensors only, and uh, most of the students are aware of this. This I have explained. And then these hundreds of uh, science experiments and projects, they are giving some ideas there. Every time they update it, and these things are very good there. And this is also 200 amazing science project for small students there. But what is very attractive, I found, is these, these colorimeters there. And this colorimeter, you know, they have published a particular paper. You can see the scientific paper published this up. I mean, you can download this uh, paper and this is in our lab. And this has uh, 
uh, for example, they have just used the natural dye, synthetic dye, and uh, how dyed the uh, what is that that paper, paper cloths and material, synthetic material, natural material, and different parameters you can obtain by changing the size, by changing the uh, natural dye. For example, the beetroot dye or the carrot dye or the dye obtained from palm granite. This uh, colorimeter app. This color emitter app, you know, it can give you the exact uh, wavelength like this. I mean, for example, you can give very quick accurate thing about uh, you, know, you get a lot of parameters there. So something um, which you can uh, ask your students, so you can just search colorimetry. This is also color analysis app is also a very good one. Color calibrator is also a very good one. And uh, so a lot of experiments. I think this one physics tool, but is a uh, very good experiment. Then very good app that you can download, always download. And here is uh, just wanted to tell you this that you know you can. They have measured this uh, sugar content of this liquid with a laser pointer. In the place of laser pointer nowadays they used it, this uh, physical uh, what is that uh, the app that I was telling the experiment they have just used it to measure this and here they have generated the parameters. So you can change always you have a lot of solutions to change. And you, if you can, you are more specific, you have any extract from any plant or any juice or any fruit, you can just very well give the result of this. So here is the uh, the five uh, fruit links that they have taken and then they just uh, uh, found the region there. Here it is, the colorimeter is there. The colorimeter, they have applied this work and they have applied publish the paper also. They have, they have given the result. <coughs> You can see, you can just go out there and find out the results there. Okay, now you can change the parameters. So size, size and uh, other thing can be used. Root juice, soda, pop, vinegar, baking soda, all these things are there. Okay, so I think I should stop now. And uh, if you have any things to ask, you know, you can please ask me or I can send you the link there. So in a nutshell, I am just telling you that uh, you know the uh, type of research can be in many ways. You know, in the statistical research also need not be something which is very uh, innovative or something which is novel or that has been discovered, but can be statistical one provided you give the status. I mean specific name of that particular place and particular data. It is very well accepted presently in many journals for the publication because it is a localized one and reproducibility of result varies from one place to another place. So earlier we had globalized results. Now we accept localized results also. And nevertheless, this is still a basic research, but I found that this is uh, inducing some kind of enthusiasm among the students. So the students can be, to begin with, they can be asked to initiate such kind of works. I think I have been able to reach you with my small presentation. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity. And if you have any doubts or session, you can write to me and I can move on to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Grant sir. Uh, wonderful, wonderful presentation. And uh, we are all motivated. Now we all also want to become scientists. <laughs> uh, we are a real good motivator. And uh, uh, I hope with your permission, we'll share your uh, uh, bio data with uh, everybody so that they can uh, yeah, bother yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> Not much, no. time, just a simple. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, you are very humble. Uh, so, what to uh, Dr. Abdul Kamal Nasser for uh, uh, the concluding remarks and. Uh... Uh, Alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. wonderful, uh, very, yeah. very informative uh, presentation started with the type of research and uh, you told a very uh, innovative and uh, a very advanced level experiments you told even that uh, there are many apps that can be used to uh, analyze a sample such as a, uh, uh, physics lab and the colorimeter app and the many color caliber app uh, so on can be used with solar uh, definitely the teacher will be very much benefited to uh, to take up their uh, as i told that the standard of project to the Higher level. Jazak Lassar, uh, fine. Uh, uh, we will post your contact number in our group. 
many of our teacher who are getting the students have any doubt inshallah they will uh, they will they, they will contact you inshallah okay uh, thank you sir jazakallah khair uh, we can end the session sister uh, thank you sir okay uh, jazakallah thanks to all the teachers uh, and all the participants Thank you. Sir, are we are we posting any uh, feedback form? No, 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 sister. Okay, okay. Then uh, thanks, uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks for uh, attending and participating. Uh, thank you. Further, we can end the session. Sir, Nazar, sir, shall I wind up, sir? Yes, yes, we can end the session.